Hey y'all, welcome back to Brave Kids Art Club. I am so excited to see you. Thank you for showing up. Today's a very special episode and I'm extremely excited for it. Do you wanna know why? I'll give you one big hint. It's on my back. You got it? You got the hint? <laughs> That's right, I wear a backpack because we are going on a field trip. I absolutely love field trips. I love visiting all my talented friends, wherever they may be, and today is no exception. We are going all the way over to Pennsylvania to meet my friend, Lauren Beck. She's a super talented illustrator and she wants to draw something with us, so I couldn't be more excited and hopefully you are too. All right, so are you ready to meet her? Awesome, okay. Hey, Lauren. Hey Brad, thanks for having me. Hi friends, my name is Lauren Beck, but all my friends call me Ren, so you can too. I'm lucky enough to be an illustrator and a lettering artist here in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Welcome to my studio slash office slash kids creative space. Oh, this? No. This one. Yeah, thanks. Good to have you. I get to work with a lot of small businesses and even couples getting married to make beautiful illustrations, lettering, and signs. But my favorite thing to do is to teach art in after school programs, camps, workshops. I teach specialized things like hand lettering, drawing, or even digital illustration on the iPad. My illustration work is something I've worked really hard to develop. It doesn't always come easy like people think. I've done many years of practice and sketching to get where I am today. But my most favorite project that I wanna share with you is my coloring book I got to design with Crayola. It's 40 pages of my designs and it took a really long time but you can tell what I am obsessed with, and that is flowers and plant life. I love nature, and I love to design things in line work and black and white. So a coloring book really made sense to me, and I had so much fun doing it. Tropical flowers and plants are so cool. And even though I love where I live here in Pennsylvania, I dream of being in lush tropics to see these gorgeous leaves and flowers in person. So that brings us to our project today. We're going to draw a gorgeous bloom called the hibiscus flower. So put on your shades while we transport ourselves to warmer tropical places and we'll get started on drawing our hibiscus flower. Let's go. I've got my white paper, I've got my pencil and my big eraser because I make lots of mistakes. But by now, you probably have figured out that I should remove my sunglasses because that is not a good idea to be drawing with dark sunglasses. I won't be able to see my paper. Duh. All right, we'll put that aside. Great. So I wanted to show you a little bit about how I work as an artist. So when I draw flowers, I'm working from reality most of the time, or I'm trying to kind of get the um, shapes and lines and curves and colors from the flowers. So I like to actually take my own photos if I can. These um, photos that I'm going to show you are from a garden center that I visited um, here in Allentown. Well, I like to tell my students that I do, that I see before I draw. So it's this moment of like taking it all in and um, we see all the time, but this is like an intentional viewing of what you're about to draw. And you take all of the information and put it in your brain so you can put it out on the paper in your own special style. Okay, so here we go. We have five petals going around. We have this long stalk called the pistol. We have some parts of the flower up here. We have the stamen and the stigma. And these are the parts where the pollen is. And uh, these look like little antenna or something. They're kind of cool looking. Now, these petals are so gorgeous. They're big and bold and they have these curvy little wiggle lines that I love. It's like a delicate little wavy line on the edge. They also have a lot of lines happening and you know how I love to incorporate lines in my work. So we're gonna add some, our own lines showing the movement of the way the petal kind of falls out and each one is coming out from the center and has like movement to it, it's so beautiful. So the first line I'm going to make is this line right here. This is gonna determine the center of our flower. And it kind of, look at that. It looks like a little like smile, like a curve. All right, so I'm gonna to try to do that. And am I trying to copy this flower? No, I'm not. 
I'm trying to take all of the information, put it into my brain and put it out in my own style right here. So I'm gonna use sketchy lines just so I'm loosey goosey, feeling good about this drawing. All right, let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, now the next thing I want you to do is I want you to create a line right in the center and this is going to separate our two petals. And then I'm gonna curve this out to make the one petal falling out. And this is something I like to um, let my students know too is uh, this is a quick tip. I actually pretend draw. I don't know if all artists do this, but this is what I do. If I'm not sure about like where this line is gonna live in the space, I like to like pretend draw it. And it kind of gives me um, confidence. It's like shows me like, yeah, this, this is gonna look good right here. It's not gonna, you know, look a, like strange. I'm, I'm gonna be okay as I confidently draw this, this line right here. So I like to pretend draw sometimes. It just gives me that little boost of confidence, which we all need sometimes, right? Okay, now I'm gonna make another petal. And are these petals supposed to be symmetrical? No way, right? This is nature. It's got all these like different curves happening and it's beautiful. Okay, so we've got two petals coming out this way. Now I'm going to make the pistol coming out here. So we're gonna make a stalk coming out. Kind of looks like a tree trunk. A skinny little tree trunk, just like that. And then I'm going to use ovals right here. Ovals, so I'm just kind of Stick them in here, all different sizes. You do not have to be perfect with these ovals. They're just representing the little stamen right here. Okay, well, it's pretty good. Now I'm gonna do those stigmas at the top, ready? We're gonna draw a stalk up here with an oval on the top. Let's draw another one. You can draw as many as you want, but I'm just gonna do three, I think that's good. Looks pretty great. Okay, looking good. I, I see the shape happening, but we're missing a few petals, aren't we? All right, so from the center here, I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna pretend draw because I need confidence, but that's okay. That's why I have my eraser on hand in case I make a mistake. All right, let's make that wiggle coming out this way. And I'm making this tuck behind this petal. All right, let's do it here too. So I'm coming out from the center and we're gonna wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right, looks pretty good. Not bad, not bad. All right, last petal is gonna go here. So I'm gonna pretend draw, wiggle, 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 wiggle. But I'm actually not gonna draw through the pistol. I'm going to go behind. Looking good, all right. It's gonna look great with black lines. Okay, last thing, I'm going to add my leaves and then I'm going to add detail. Okay, so we're gonna pretend like the leaf is dropping out this way, so dropping out that way. I'm gonna draw the center of the leaf and I'm gonna make this one a little larger. And I like to make it look like a stalk, just like that. And then we're gonna come out from here and I'm gonna make those jagged lines. Kind of like a wiggle jagged line, not perfect, right? Because nature is all, all different shapes and sizes, just like people are all unique, so are flowers. All right, so there's one. I'm gonna make this one come out this way. And we're gonna pretend like this is tucked behind. Pretend like it's tucked behind. And we're gonna make that extra little point right there. All right, and then I'm gonna make another one coming out here, so. Does anyone else do sound effects when they draw? <laughs> it's kind of like a weird thing I do. Okay, looking good. Now I do notice something, this, I would really like this petal to come down a little more and drop down. I just really like want this to be bigger. So I'm gonna add that in. Now, this is the time to inspect your petals. Is one a little wonky? Is one a little too small? One a little too big? Check them out. This is the time to make the adjustments, right? That's why we got erasers.
last thing I want to add details. So everyone that has drawn with me before knows this is my favorite part. So I'm going to add some veins to my leaves. It's veins. And what I'm doing is I'm curving my line. And I think that that adds movement. I really like that. I like to curve it out. It doesn't look like a flat thing then, right? Curve them outward. Curve. All right, let me make three on this side. One, two, oop. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Oh my gosh, the sound effects. I'm embarrassing myself. Okay, <laughs> let's go over here. Let's make those veins coming out of this direction too. And leaves are actually so cool. I actually, ugh, it's funny. I love flowers, but I think leaves are just as interesting. If you really look at different kinds of leaves, there are so many different kinds and they have all different veins, all different shapes, and they are just as lovely as the actual flower, right? Okay, last thing. I'm gonna have some lines coming out, just like we said, we really liked, I, I said, I really liked, I hope you do too. Um, these lines coming out that show the movement of the petal coming outward towards you. So we're gonna try to capture that. So I'm gonna pretend draw, and I'm gonna draw these little these lines coming out. Sometimes I stagger some like that. I'm gonna draw this one curving out, right? All about the curves and the lines. So beautiful. It shows movement. Gorgeous. All right, this one's gonna come out this way, and this way. I'm just adding a few in here and I can always look at them again, erase any, any I don't like, add more when I go into inking. See how these lines are going outward from the center? That's awesome, it's looking good. I am ready to ink. Even though I love to draw coloring books because I really like black and white line work, I also do love color too. So we're going to add some color today and I'm going to give you a few tips on coloring petals of flowers and leaves. Um, so I've got my colored pencils. I like working with them because they're really fun uh, to blend and also they're very vibrant. Okay, now you can color your hibiscus flower any shade any color you want because they come in so many different colors, but I'm gonna stick with this pink because this magenta, it's gorgeous. And it caught my eye in that garden center. I'm telling you, this baby was vibrant and bold. So we're gonna go with some magenta and I'm gonna start off with my pencil. Um, this one's called magenta and I'm going to start coloring and I'm going to color lightly with my pencil, all sort of in the same direction because I don't wanna color all different directions because then my lines and my, my shading and everything is all gonna look all wonky, but I wanna be very careful when I color and color all in the same direction. But I also kind of do this thing where I make rotation circles. So I find that that applies really nicely and I, I kind of keep a light touch. I build up the color with these circle, these tiny little circles all built up. It does take longer friends, but you know what? If you have pride in your art, take your time. All right. So with this petal, I noticed that there's red in the center. There's a little bit of like a lighter pink or a white and it goes to the brighter magenta. So what I'm gonna do for this petal, I'm gonna only color lightly here. I'm gonna color lightly right here. And this is gonna be my white area. I'm gonna blend it a little bit. I'm just going very light. And then what I like to do for these petals, I'm not gonna keep going. Uh, I'm gonna do that when I speed up my video, but I wanna show you when I get to the edge, I try to push a little harder. And what it does is it makes the edge look darker. And I have this really nice blend effect, this gradient or like, 
ombre effect. Some people love to call it ombre. We go from light and we get more and more pressure and building it up with those circles, building up, building it up. And we get this really nice, dark, bold, vibrant color on the edge if we push harder. I love the way this looks. Ugh, gorgeous. It takes time. See how long that took me? But if I keep going around and make this gorgeous color, it's gonna look sweet. Okay, that was a lot of work. I'm not gonna lie, that was a lot, but um, I am so happy that I took the time and the patience in order to make these beautiful, bold magenta faded to red petals. They are gorgeous. And I have one more thing to add. Remember how the center of our flower has that red? We're gonna add that in here. So I'm just gonna really dark, we're using a lot of pressure, which means pushing down on the, on the uh, pencil. I'm gonna add some red in the very center. And this is really cool. This is a neat effect. This makes the center really like the petals look like they're going inward. Have red to white to light pink and then the red again. Beautiful. All right, looking good. Now it's time for that pistol in the middle. I'm gonna use a golden yellow color. I love trying to blend my colors. Even if you have markers or crayons at home, try blending your colors, mix it up a little bit, see what happens, experiment, make mistakes. That is all part of the process. And it's actually the fun part. It's the kind of, uh, it's the time when you just play. So be a kid, play. Looking good, looking good. Okay, moving on to my leaves. I'm gonna use two tones of green, a yellow green and a darker green. That was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed learning how to create these gorgeous petals that fall out with line work, some beautiful leaves with veins. We even tried some color blending, which was challenging, but you'll get it. Keep trying, keep practicing, be kind to yourself while you're doing it, okay? Always learn, because I'm always a learner too. I'm a forever learner. Now, this wouldn't be a Ren picture without some hand lettering in there. So I'm gonna do some script so you can check out what I do. There we go, my hibiscus plant, my flower is complete. I love it so much, I hope you do too. I had a lot of fun. So that's our little drawing session today. I'm so happy you joined me to illustrate a beautiful, unique, amazing hibiscus flower. We learned a few facts about the hibiscus flower, tropical plants, seeing before drawing, and most importantly, allowing ourselves to make mistakes while we practice. It's all part of the creative journey, friends. So be kind to yourself when you're learning. Thanks again for having me. And remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. <laughs> Bye, Brad. Thank you. Thanks again, Lauren. We'll see you. Well, wasn't that fun? I had an absolute blast drawing those hibiscus flowers, learning about her studio. And of course, I love facts. So all the facts she shared, she had some really cool ones about the hibiscus flowers. And that was just so much fun to me. So how did your flower turn out? Can I see it? All right, put it a little bit closer. A little bit closer. There we go, oh, a little bit to the left, to the left. Oh, there we go, perfect. Oh man, that is so good. Good job. I think we owe Lauren a huge thank you. She took a lot of time out of her day to teach us how to draw and that was just so cool of her. So what better way to thank her than to show her what we drew today? Just go ahead and go on Instagram and tag us at Brave Kids Art Club or you can have your parents direct message us and send us pictures of your work. And speaking of sharing your artwork, stick around to the very, very end and you'll see some really cool tiger illustrations from a class that I just taught recently. So take a look at those. Thank you guys so much for showing up to this video and I will see you next time.